So hey guys, what's up, how are you doing? Today I'm going to be covering something quite interesting. It's the if statements, also known as decision making statements, or I know them as selection statements. Anyway, so actually let's begin. So to really start a selection statement, you kind of do need to have some sort of um, maybe value or some sort of um, variable or just you, need, you will have to create a condition well this condition is usually known as a boolean expression so you kind of have to have a question ready to actually see is this true or is this false so I'm kind of maybe not explaining it really in a proper way but I'll, when I'm going to start coding you'll find out what I'm trying to kind of explain okay so I'm going to say int and I'm going to say num1 this should be familiar to you if you already know a bit of Java or you looked at it in my previous videos. Okay, so I'm going to say equals to 10. Okay, so you see it equals to 10. So now we have a variable called num1 and it's equal to 10 and it's an integer value. Okay, so so now we're going to start our if statement. So we're going to actually start the if statement. Okay, so if I say if, that's how we start our if statement. If I say if num1 is greater than 5 then basically the um, curly brace is basically this curly brace and this curly brace is basically anything inside will well whatever depends on what um, things you type in it will pop up so um, I'm going to say system dot out dot print ln so I actually want to print up the screen so I'm going to say hey if okay so now if I run this this is going to be true because if num1 is greater than 5 then basically print out this and it is because our number is 10 okay so if I run this you will see it's going to say hey if sorry I forgot that it's going to say if <laughs> anyway so now we're actually going to be covering the if else statement I don't need to change anything else I just actually have to add in an else so if I example say else and then I say I'm actually going to copy this because it does not really much change I need to do here apart from just saying hey else so if I run this, nothing's going to happen. But for example, if I say four, something else is going to happen there because n four is not greater than five. So you're going to see it's going to say hey else. Okay, okay. So I'm going to cover another one, and it's known as a else if. So basically, if this is not true, then okay. So is this is this true? So else if, and let me do this, and I put in the wrong brackets. So else if so basically if num1 is greater or equal to 0 so and then I want a condition and the condition will be pretty much the same I'm going to copy and paste it except I'm going to say else if now okay so that's all cool so if I run this what do you expect to see okay so if you had a guess or you pause the video just to understand it's going to be this because because this is not true we know that already and plus because num 4 is not greater than um, 5 but 4 is greater than 0 or equal to 0 but obviously it's not 0 so if I said 0 here it would still work but it's 4 so obviously it's going to be this so what we expect to be said here is actually hey else if so if I run it down see it works okay so what happens if I change it to minus 4 this comes these if statements kind of can can come in handy when especially when there's user input involved okay so let's continue on so what we'll find out is going to say hey else that's what you should expect so hey else so you see how the selection statements work or decision making statements whatever you want to call them work okay so there's actually one more selection statement I need to kind of cover and they're also known as well switch statements and there's another statement is nested statements where you could have two ifs two ifs here so they're nested so one is true and then the other one is true then continue on or whatever depends anyway so we covered those in the vi different video but for today that's all that's our selection statements covered or decision making statements so see you in the next one do drop a like or a dislike depends if I explained it properly or not and um, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one guys